Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. It has been a very long time since I've recorded anything, but we're going to play this. Um, we're going to jump into it. Never going to play any of those countries because I, I don't know, it's probably just me, but I've always preferred playing just sort of like non traditional companies. Uh, countries, not companies. Um, so, like, you know, playing all these guys, it's cool and all, but I don't know. I want to do something different. I like doing different stuff. So. I'm Australian, I'm going to play Australia, and I feel like going fascist is not cheating, but that's also kind of a bit boring, so we're going to keep it like a little historical here. Also going fascist or communist, trying to take on the allies through all this, yeah, no, uh, no thanks. I It's been a while since I've played this, so again, I'm not going to be very good, so. We'll do, yeah, so we'll do a historical air focus, helps us out a bit technically, so all the allies get together and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's been a really long time since I've played. So, I mean, I still remember most things. Um, most of these games you don't really forget. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, none of our generals have any traits, so. Um, I guess we'll go you. We'll set them to garrison this area. And we want them exercising. We won't get that much army experience because it's a pretty small army. But I do want some army experience just to start, you know, just to have some. This is important. National focus, I think we will just go... Again, because we're not um, worried about changing... Our, our country and we are already 98% democratic there's no real reason to um, get some of this stuff I mean it's good but most of the time not not too useful that technology sharing is good um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna start off with industrial effort get that we'll set up our research we do only start with two research slots because we are a pretty damn small country so We'll get research time and we will get construction speed. This. We'll get construction speed. Um, three civilian factories. We will build a couple more civilian factories. I think that's all we'll need. Um, obviously, they are going to take a bit of time and we do need military factories as you can see right here. Uh, we'll need support equipment and I will want artillery eventually, eventually. And we'll just keep getting more infantry equipment. We do have free dockyards. Um, what do we want? How long will it take us to build a destroyer? With both of those, it's going to give us one per year. That's so unbelievably bad. Okay, um, I guess we just start working on getting the destroyers. Yeah, it's the best we can do for now. No template for our soldiers, I'm guessing, so... Um, yeah, All right. well, let's just train one of them. We'll have them build in New South Wales. I'm set up there, no template for uh, the equipment and the trade artillery. That's fine, we'll get around to that. It's just good to get up the stuff so we've got a stockpile. So when we do eventually get them, uh, we can instantly uh, have them all equipped. So we'll just get some of this stuff off, get supplies off these people. It doesn't really matter who, it's not a big deal. And yeah, we'll unpause the game. A bit of speed on it. Uh, we don't have too much in the way of air and navy at the moment. Um, what do we got here? We've got some cruisers and destroyers. That's not bad, actually. A couple of cruisers, which is good. We'll give him a commander. Um, give him that. He's going to do some cruisers. Um... Supply is bad around here. Let's just we'll increase the gas in area just so the supply isn't as bad. Low manpower, as expected. Um, we'll probably jump it up to speed 5 because nothing is going to be happening at the start here. We can uh, probably look around just to see what early policies or national focuses people are picking up. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff by the looks of it. Um, yeah. WA, is that the one for 
No, it's not. Okay. Oh, that's for political power. Most of the time I have seen America just go straight for protecting all South America and just the Americas in general. But um, it's hard to say for historical focus because, again, it's been a while. It's been a very long time. These guys will be done in May. Actually, reasonably quickly. I'm happy with that. We'll get that political power. I don't know what we'll get first. Um, Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Civilian factories. Military factories. Let's get the civilian ones first. Even the infrastructure would be good. We can get that research slot almost straight away. Actually, yeah, we can just rush the extra research slots. I think that's what we're going to do. Just to make sure we are um, keeping up with the rest of the world. We, we won't need that many because we're not going to have the actual capacity to, you know, continuously produce all different kinds of units. It's mostly going to be, you know, get good infantry, get good tanks and motorized and, you know, keep good artillery. Besides from that, you know, you, you do what you can on, um, wait, own all my time is being a bit weird. Um, yeah, Navy, Navy and Air Force, you just do what you can. Most of the time, the, the updated um, types of units aren't, you know, that crucial. Obviously, you know, if you can keep them upgraded, then you'll do that. But if not, then oh well. Yeah, so we do want to have a look around. We, we need to see what Japan owns, because they will be our biggest threat at the start. Um, we'll have to help with some naval invasions um, there, and then... We will have to sort out landing in Germany as well. So, it'll be fun to, to try and take out. We'll keep getting more and more civilian factories. So, um, it looks like it's just those islands. Um, we can modify our government. Industrial research time. Not a bad idea. Oh, actually. I'm going to get a chief of army. Never mind. Uh, where is the guy that gives us? I know he's here somewhere. Maybe we just don't have him. I'm thinking, I'm trying to find the guy who gives us daily army experience. I think he's in here, maybe. Oh, it's been way too long since I've played this. It has actually been weeks. I normally do not play or ignore a game for that long. I think he's normally in here, but it looks like we've only got these two guys. Okay, um, in that case... We will go for, just give us some um, local power gain. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll do a bit of that. Uh, we do have more army experience prepped, so we can edit the infantry division. And we can say, give us support artillery. Save that. And we'll get all our units. And we want to update them all, even, even these cavalry divisions. Infantry, so yeah, we we still need, do need a lot more artillery, which we are working on. Um, getting five per week, which isn't that bad. I'm actually happy with that. We've been on in 20th of uh, uh, getting out of the civilian economy is probably a good idea. Spanish Civil War has kicked off. Um, I wonder if we can send volunteers over. To, who do we want to send to? Republican Spain, I think. Yeah, um, send volunteers. Ah, we don't have enough divisions. Oh well. Ah, uh, not quite 37. We'll get the production and efficiency cap. They're all extremely useful. It looks like, yeah, it's just these islands up here. A uh, fair few ports and stuff that we're going to have to take. Um, I don't know how well we're going to be able to do against Japan. Obviously, they're going to be a lot stronger than us. We kind of just have to hope that going against China, they just sort of flop. Um, but I'm going to keep rushing down to those research slots. So, six here. On 17th of November, what are our factories being used on? 
It's hard to tell, actually. Yeah, we're getting a good amount of army experience. I'm happy with that. Uh, we will need marines. That's going to be very important. I don't know when exactly we get them. Uh, we'll have to look just here. Um, okay. It's done. So if we go... It's on the infantry. Marines, we can get straight away. So, that's good. I'll keep that in mind. I'm not going to do it straight away. Um, we're going to do concentrated industry. I think that's the right way to go. Yeah, go with that. Oh, so there's that. Infrastructure's getting built up. Change our this over to... I don't know yet. We do a limited description. Gives us an extra 1% of recruitable population. I think, yeah, we, we can do that. Structure effort has been finished. Get the next one. But keep working down there. Um, what do we want to do here? Do all this stuff. This helps with factory output. No? Time. I think we want free trade. Suction speed, research time. I think we want free trade. Maybe we get that next. Get more factory output, more construction speed. Even changing this around. This is what you want later on. All the war economy and stuff. We, don't, we won't worry about it yet. I think next we'll go for free trade and then we'll change our economy laws. Technical computing is finished. Um. That's more research time. It's a bit early. I'm not going to worry about radio too much for now. Uh, it's about time we can get the extra construction speed. Well, you know, a month early, but I think that's fine. Okay, so a lot more infantry rifles is needed. We can update our divisions again. So we want... Recon, and we want, oh, we've got to wait just a little bit longer, a couple more days, there we go, save that, we'll update all of our divisions, we're going to need a lot more stuff, look at, we can see that in the logistics, so 76 days until we get the artillery, about a year for infantry equipment, and a half a year for support equipment, so we're getting there. Get that extra research slot. There we go. We're kicking into high gear now. Not really, not in the slightest. It's still only the first year. Uh, it looks like Nationalist Spain will probably win this. They've pushed pretty hard. They've managed to take Madrid, which is a big deal. Um, yeah, that's a shame. It would have been nice to have Republican Spain, but. Most of the time it doesn't really matter what Spain does because they have a modifier which means they can't really join factions. That, I think it's until 1943. So yeah, most of the time they're, they're way too slow out of the gates to do anything. Um, that. Plenty of convoys. So getting more army experience. Good. I think the Australians get the same music as England, I think. I'm not too sure. Right, extra research slot. Uh, more factories than 50. Whoa, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, get that. Okay, and... We get more research time. That's 38, so that's still too far ahead. Production efficiency cap. Okay. Um, we, oh, yeah, worries me how slowly we're producing ships, two per year, we're gonna need to get more dockyards and stuff, um, let's get motorized, get, we'll get some motorized, we're gonna need it, I think, I think, it'll, uh, I'm not sure how effective motorized is gonna be on landings and stuff, I'm guessing most of it is gonna be just sort of, um, tanks and infantry, 
but maybe for mainland Japan and Germany we'll need them so uh, and that's so I like yeah I don't know I'm not good at this game I don't know what I'm talking about um yeah I'll probably end the episode there it'll be a short one but this is gonna be a bit boring and slow because it is the start and that's just how it always is so apologies for that I suppose actually you know what? I'll end it once we get this political power thing set up once we change this over um Mobilization. Can we go straight into war economy? Or tension must be 15%. Okay, so maybe we don't worry about that just yet. Um, cook up more military factories. At the building slot and naval dockyards. Um, that's also a very good idea. I'm actually going to start working on that navy tree. We're modifying the government. Um, let's say high command. What do we got? Vision attack. What else can we can we work? Yeah. Um, we go naval base construction speed. That's not a bad idea. We'll go with that for now. Just get us a bit more political power. And um, yeah, I think we'll end the episode there. So yeah, slow start. Uh, interesting to see how we do because I suck and Australia is not it's not a weak country but it's definitely not the strongest so we'll have to see how we go but um yeah new series I'm, I'm back after like three weeks of doing jack shit so give me some likes comment yeah do all that stuff you guys know the deal anyway that'll be all for now and uh yeah I'll see you guys next time